Bismillah. Yeah, uh, we are going to start now the new chapter, which is a genetic variation and polymorphism. Okay, genetic variation or polymorphism. Maryam, would you please start reading what is a mutation and environment? What is a mutation? <coughs> yes, it is. Mutation, it's an alteration or modification or change in the DNA base sequence, gene or allele, to produce new allele that will result in a new phenotype that may be good, beneficial or bad, harmful. So, it is an alternate alteration or change, modification in the DNA sequence, okay, to produce a new allele. This allele will give me a new phenotype, could be a new color or any new characteristic. Sorry, and this characteristic may be good sometimes in plants, animals, beneficial or bad, harmful like in humans. We will see. Continue, Maria. Mutation could be? A mutation could be spontaneous. Yes. Mutation can happen naturally without an external cause. It happens as a result of an of an error in DNA replication system. So it may happen by itself without any interference, for example, from humans or any other organism. Okay, for example, in bacteria may happen. Yes? Or induced, caused by a mutagenic agent like stressful environmental conditions, UV ray or chemical factors, poly, uh, polycyclic, polycyclic uh, hydrocarbons. Yes. These are chemicals found in the plastics and many other, uh, let's say, components that may cause a mutation, either in humans, in plants, in animals. All the types of cancers you hear about, they are caused by mutations. Okay, all the types of cancers in every part in the body are caused by mutations. Okay, so this mutation may happen by itself, spontaneous. We may discover in nature something like this, or it could be induced, caused by type of radiation, chemical factors, and so on. Type. Continue, Yama Yam. It could be effective or ineffective. Effective. Effective mutation, uh, mutation occurs at the level of DNA, or genotype, or genome. Genome genome and leads to a modification or alliteration alternation at the level of the phenotype meaning its effect can be seen on the phenotype of the organism okay the effect can be seen we can see that this uh, organism had a mutation from its for example skin color eye color sometimes you told me there are some cats that have different eye colors so the difference in the color yes. This could be due to a mutation, okay, in the cells of the eyes that produce the color. Okay, yes, yeah, Maryam? Yeah. <clears throat> or ineffective, it is a, is a mutation that modifies the genotype or DNA, but such modification has no effect on phenotype. Exactly. It could be re by specific repair enzymes or proteins. So in, unnoticed silent. Okay, so in every human being, okay, mutation happens, but we have a type of proteins that can fix this uh, uh, this mutation. Okay, so that's why it does not appear on our body because there are proteins that fix it. Okay. So that's why it will be ineffective. Type. It could be also beneficial, yes, or harmful. Yalla, Maryam, let's continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, beneficial, favorable. A mutation is said to be beneficial when it leads to appearance of a normal allele, starting from abnormal one or it leads to the creation of new alleles at the level of the population, enabling the organisms to adapt with the modifications or changes that occur, that occur at, level, at the level of the surrounding environmental factors 
or conditions. Okay, sometimes in some bacteria, in some bacteria, the a mutation happened, make them resistant to some medicine. For the bacteria, this mutation is beneficial. Then they are now what? They are now able to resist this medicine. The medicine cannot kill them. Okay? But this, but this mutation for us as humans is, let's say, harmful. Then we will not be able to kill this type of bacteria. Okay? Yes. So it depends, it's beneficial or harmful depending to which organism. Okay. Harmful. Harmful. However, harmful mutations are those that, le uh, that lead to the appearance of abnormal alleles, causing the appearance of hereditary diseases or abnormalities. Uh, yani, uh, example, anomal anomalies or maladies maladies or anomalies this is what happens in human genetic diseases okay the disease that we see in the offspring for example of a mother who takes a lot of alcohol okay so we will see a yes. kind of a genetic disease happening to this child Bye. it may lead to cell damage or tumor like cancer Exactly, it may lead to cell damage or tumor like cancer. Okay, that's what we know about all types of cancers that you hear about. Yes. Right. The last part it could be not transmitted or transmitted. Yes, yes. yeah, Maria. Mutations occurring in uh, somatic cells are never transmitted. From the, uh, from one generation to another, they are not heredited. What do we mean, Heredi yeah, Maryam, Sorry, what do you mean by somatic cells? Yeah. Body cells. Body cells. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For example, someone had a mutation in a skin cell. This will not be transmitted to his children. استاذ بس شفت كيف قلت لنا وصف إنه هال اللي مثلاً ما عندهم كل skin color تاعتهم أبيض ويا yes. يمكن يكون عندهم yes. هذا من السكين. but those those received the mutation مش happened to them يعني received it from their parents. Yes. okay هلا we will explain it in more details. okay continue please. transmitted inherited however mutation occurring in germline cell could be transmitted from one generation to another due to random fertilization and gene expression all the cells somatic and germ of the individual inherit this mutation okay so for example the female had a mutation in the ovum in the follicles inside the ovary okay so now the oocyte has a mutation and if this now if this oocyte was fertilized this mutation will appear in her baby in her child okay so that's why it's very dangerous if a mutation happens in the germ cells in the sperms or in the let's say uh, egg cells okay this is very dangerous because it will be yes. transmitted now from parents to children. Okay, let's take an example, uh, uh, Mariam. Example, a hole in the ozone layer permits the passage of UV uh, radiation, photon, which causes the formation of a uh, thymine dimer, TT. Okay. This leads to skin cancer. Exactly. Thank God for the thank God for the presence of enzyme ARCC3, which breaks this TT dimer and recovers this mutation. So, we every yeah, the whole day we are under let's say the sun. 
So that's why our skin receives a large amount of sunlight, meaning a large amount of UV light, especially people who go to the sea to get a tan. You know the meaning of the tan, right? Yes. Change in skin color. Or what they call a bronzage. Those people, when they are under, okay, this large amount of UV light from the sun, so their skin color, our skin cells, are under the danger of getting skin cancer. Because UV light can cause a problem to the thymine in DNA, causing the two thymine to bind together, and this will lead to a problem. Thank God we have a type of an enzyme. What is it called? The enzyme ERCC3, which can fix the problem and break the dimer and return everything to its normal state. Okay? Yes. Good. Type. Okay. So factors that cause diversity or genetic variation or polymorphism, what are they? Gene mutation, okay. fertilization, or meiosis. Fertilization and meiosis. So some organisms receive, for example, a mutation. Then those organisms will have meiosis to produce gametes. And finally, these gametes will fuse together by fertilization to get a new characteristics. To get a new characteristics. ERCC can fix not any mutation yet I've seen, only this one in the skin cell caused by UV light. Okay, caused by UV light. Clear, guys? Clear. Any question about now? What is a mutation? Okay. Do you know that in a country called Indonesia, they have black chicken? Do you know what do I mean by black chicken, yeah, Mariam? No, it, meaning black. the meat is also black. Oh, okay. The meat is also black. Even the eggs are also black. And these chicken are very expensive because they are not available everywhere. That from where this black color comes from, it is from a mutation. Okay, from a mutation. You know the white tigers, sah? And white lions? You have seen them. So this is also due to a mutation. This is also is it due to a mutation. Okay, white lions and white uh, 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 tigers. Okay, very good. Type. Let's move on to more detail about mutation. Look the diversity in the pigeons. You see the colors? Colors, shape of the feathers, and many other characteristics. All of these are due to what? A mutation. Also, look here, they are showing us harmful mutations. They are showing us harmful mutations. Okay, for example, a duck with four legs. Uh, Drosophila without wings. With a different shape of the eyes. With also another problem with the eyes. All of this is a mutation. A cow with two heads. Uh, let's say a sheep with five legs. You know those, peop those people here is a complete family. They have only two fingers in their legs. Exactly, this is a mutation. Six toes is also a mutation. 
Okay, all of these problems are types of mutations. Okay, now let's see how mutations happens. Okay, let's see how mutations happen. Okay. Type. Okay. Let me make a, a, let's say, a small introduction before I go here. If you remember from last year, we discussed about how protein is synthesized from the code of DNA. If you remember, we said DNA is made of four nucleotides, T, C, A, G. These are transcribed into messenger RNA, and the messenger RNA is used or is translated into a specific protein, and this protein will, will control a specific trait, right? Now, if there is a problem with this protein, the trait will not appear correctly, okay? For example, the protein melanin that causes uh, skin color are responsible for the skin color if there is a problem with the DNA that is used with that is the code to produce this protein okay now what will happen the protein will maybe will not be produced at all or it will be produced in a faulty way the protein will be uh, let's say useless so now the skin cells will not be colored and we have the problem of a mutation in this gene okay so now the gene will be used or will be translated into a protein and this protein is let's say responsible for the characteristic responsible for the characteristic okay now, the mutation happens at the level of the DNA. Yani like I'm giving you a map to build a car, and the map has something wrong. So if you use it as it is, you will make a car with a kind of a problem. Okay, non-functional. Because the original map is wrong. The original map is wrong, okay? So when you use it, you will build a, a car with a problem. You build a car with a problem, okay? Type. Yeah. Jenna, where is Jenna? No, Can you read, Yajana? Yeah, okay. Yalla. Let's see what types of mutations we have. Okay. Uh, I will genetic mutations. We have either a genetic mutation, meaning it is a, a, a mutation in a gene, or what? Allele? No, uh, the one next to it. Chromosomal. Uh, chromosomal numerical? Yes, uh, chromosomal abnormal. numerical mutation. So the mutation is in a specific gene for a specific color, or the mutation may happen in the whole chromosome numbers. Yani the person may have an extra chromosome or a missing chromosome. Okay? An extra chromosome or a missing chromosome. Chromosome. Type. Jenna, let's start with the first one, which is what? Which is genetic mutation. Okay. Modifications, uh, alteration, changes in DNA, uh, genes found on chromosomes. No change in the whole number of chromosomes or in their uh, structures. Okay. Such mutations could be detected by DNA analysis. So, the mutation now may occur in a specific gene. So if you look to the karyotype of the chromosomes, you will not see any difference. 
So you can not detect this mutation, okay, from the karyotype, from the look to the chromosomes. No, because what happens that they look normal, the chromosomes, and know the change happened within one gene. Okay, so by this I cannot detect it. How I detected? I detected by DNA analysis that we will learn later, by analyzing the DNA itself. Okay, what is the other type, uh, uh, yeah, Jana? Uh, chromosomal numerical abnormalities. Yes. Uh, extra or missing chromosome change in the whole number of chromosomes. Such abnormalities are detected by karyotyping uh, technique. Uh, this type now, an extra chromosome or a missing chromosome, this can be detected. How? This can be detected by doing a karyotype. You can know if we have an extra chromosome, yani 47, or a missing chromosome, yani 45. So this can be easily detected. Okay? Different than the first one, which is a change only in one gene. Okay? A change only in one gene. So this is hard to find out. You need a specific type of test in order to discover it. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> now, let's focus first, let's focus first on what? On uh, genetic mutation. Okay? On genetic mutation, and a change in one gene. Well, let's focus on this one, when we have a change in one gene only. Okay, yalla ya jana. The first type of a mutation here is what? La, same. I didn't change. Maybe it's the e school, uh, let's say, problem. Rahat sura yani? Sarat sauda. Ah, okay, okay, rajat ajat. Okay, taib yalla. Type. The first uh, type, better. yeah, the first type of genetic mutation now. First type of genetic mutation. Yes, yeah, Jana. What do I call the the type this type of mutation in the blue? It's called what? Deletion. Deletion. Type. Yes. Can you tell me what happens? What do you notice different? And the three parts in the DNA not set. Ah, one nucleotide is missing. One nucleotide is missing or what? Or deleted. Um, sex my deletion. Exactly. One nucleotide is deleted. This will affect later how protein will be produced. Okay, this will affect later how protein will be produced. Okay, the second type, Yajana? Addition. Addition. Okay, what happens in this one? Uh, there is one nucleotide, okay, one nucleotide is added. This also affects how the gene will be expressed later. Okay, and the third one? Substitution. Substitution. You replace one by another. You replace one by another. Yani GC is replaced by AT. And this also affects, okay, the type of the protein that will be produced. The type of the protein that will be produced okay so these are the three types of genetic mutation either it is a deletion either it is an addition or what the third one or a substitution okay or it will be uh, yes 
استاذ بالكروموزومر نيوميريكال ابنورماليتيز اذا كان في وحده زايده ما بتصير ترايزومي مثلا اذا كانت على 21 ولا لا من بلا ميوتيشن بلا بلا ترايزومي بس ذيس از ان ابنورماليتي صح ولا نورمال كيس؟ لا ابنورماليتي ابنورماليتي يس فور فور شور اكزاكتلي هل الترايزومي هي ميوتيشن كمان؟ لا كان ميوتيشن ديورينج ميوزس The chromosomes did not separate. Yes. So that's why this person or this child, he received three chromosomes instead of two. So this is a mutation now. Yes, sir. Okay, we get it? Yes. Very good. Type. Okay. Now, I will go down a little to see what are the consequences or effect on this protein. To know that, please study carefully the table below. Okay, please study carefully the table below. Type. Okay. Do you all remember how protein is made from last year? Okay, do we remember this? From the amino acids, exactly. How the codes we we used uh, a table if you if you remember that contained codon, the ATC, CGA and so on we used all of these things so now we want to see now how this will affect the type of protein okay how this affect the type of the protein type now i am going to show you a video just to remind you how proteins are made how proteins are made let me see if this is okay with us No, before this, there is one before it. Okay, protein, it's DNA. DNA transcription first step. Is this a television to screen? Uh, it is now. Hello, Richard. Lano, Anna, I'm uh, opening the YouTube just to find a video about this. Okay. Okay. Says, أنت بكرة أبنا بالامتحان ولا أنت ما حد تجي. والله أنا I am not sure if they want me to, uh, يعني be with you during the the test. I'm not sure. You know, nobody told me about this. But I will try to be in school, يعني on time, إن شاء الله. Yeah, okay. Okay, type. Let's see now. Okay, let me uh, let me stop sharing this and start sharing the Chrome tab, the DNA. Okay, do you see now this video? Okay. Says Chefin. طيب Okay, let me make it English here so we can follow it. Each chromosome long strand of DNA. Now. So this is the DNA made of nucleotides. Sorry. Okay. An enzyme RNA polymerase attached to the start of the gene. 
to start copying now the DNA into what? Into messenger RNA. Now I am making messenger RNA, which is a copy of the DNA. But I am using, instead of T, if you remember, U. Instead of T, I am using U. Now I have the copy, the messenger RNA. Messenger RNA, I will send it. Now, to ribosomes. Okay, I will send it now to an organelle called ribosomes. here outside the nucleus going to the cytoplasm to reach the ribosomes okay now the ribosomes will read these nucleotides and make a chain of amino acids and this chain will form the proteins a chain of amino acids Look what happens. Okay, they are now translating it into a chain of amino acids. Added the growing chain, now I am producing the protein. Now I am producing the protein. Okay, now this is the protein ready to function. This is the protein ready to function. Okay, you remember this part? <coughs> you remember this part? Okay, uh, RNA translation table chart. So also if you remember the fi this figure, that we used last year. Let me just open it. Okay, let me Do you remember this table? Okay, the one that we talked about, how we do translation. We used UU, for example, that will give me phenylalanine protein, uh, amino acid, and for the others. These are RNA copying the DNA. So any change in the DNA will cause a change in RNA and this change may lead to a change in the amino acid. And if one amino acid is different, this can make the whole protein not working and the phenotype may not appear as you know it. Okay? Still, the table is not in La, 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 I'm just best reminding you. Okay, I'm just reminding you about it. Okay. But you know, when we talk now about this part, but you, know, you remember what we are talking about. You are familiar with it. Okay, Th that's it. Now, let's see now the types of mutations, their examples, their effect, and what we call them. Okay, their effect and what we call them. طيب, Subhiya, can you read for us? Esther. Yalla, please. Type of mutation, uh, substitution, uh, on normal DNA producing normal amino acid, fianna CCA, but see pro, Okay, CCA, CCA is translated to amino acid proline. 
طيب صبحيه جي اي جي از ترانسليتد انتو وات جلوتامين اوكي يو مي نوت نو ذا نيم لا 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 اكيد لا اي سي تي ويل جيف مي ثريونين طيب ان ذا وان نيكست تو ات وات دو يو نوتس ذا تشينج هابنز اللي تحت ولا اللي جنبه اللي جنبه اللي جنبه ذا ان ارو نيكست تو ات What do you notice? صار في substitution. Okay, what happened? بدل ال A صار في. آه, فإذا A in the second codon is substituted with what? With T. With T. Now, yes. Now instead of getting glutamine, I am getting another amino acid called valine. So now, what is the consequence here, Sophia? No substitution. Yeah, the consequence next to it. Change in one amino acid. Change. When we have a change in one amino acid, but the total number. Yeah, the total number. Amino acid is conserved. Is conserved. What do I call this type of mutation? Substitution. No, next to it. Next to it. Directly. منو واضح كتير عظيم Miss Sense It is called Miss Sense Wait let me try to Okay لا a little طيب هلا واضح وش الحال Okay so yes. it is called Miss Sense Mutation Miss Sense يعني changing now one amino acid Changing one yes. amino acid. Okay. But this may affect the whole protein. And the whole protein may become useless. Yani it cannot be used anymore. Okay. So here, the next type of mutation, uh, of substitution. We are still in substitution. Yes. كمان normal DNA producing normal amino acid هي ذاتها بس change in A letter A. Okay, the second G becomes A. Instead of G A G, I have G A A. Yes. Do I have yes or no change in the amino acid? No. No, it's still glutamine. لأنه GAG and GAA both of them give me glutamine. So what is the consequence? Yes. Change in DNA produces the same amino acid, so no effect on the body. No effect on the body. What is this called? Is this type of mutation? Was it? What is it called? Silent mutation. Silent. Why you called it Yasubhiya silent? Because a mutation the happened. Amount of effect. Exactly. Do you see any effect? No. No. That's why it is silent. Okay? That's why it is yes. silent. Type. The third one in substitution, instead of having G A G, I have what? T A G. T A G. Okay, when I have T A G. Okay, this give me which amino acid give me the stop? Yani meaning the Chien. translation does not continue. The production of protein stops here. Yani a smaller mm. protein. So what is the consequence now? Change in DNA produces stop instead of normal amino acid to give short protein. Now I get a shorter protein. What do you call this type of mutation? Nonsense. Nonsense. It did. It did not give me any protein, so it has no sense. Okay. So these are the three yes. types of a mutation. Produced by substitution. Produced by what? By 
substitution. Okay, you have either miss stance, change one amino acid, you have silent, there is no change, or nonsense mutation, now uh, production stops and you get a, a very short protein. طيب, so here, last question for you. Which one of them is, let's say, most dangerous? Or most harmful, mm. if I want to say? Nonsense. Nonsense. Like, you don't have a protein at all. You just have a small part. But in the sense, only one amino acid change may give you a type of, let's say, function. It's silent, work completely, no problem. So silent, everything normal. Miss sense, only one amino acid change. Nonsense, the whole protein stops and becomes short, so it does not function at all. It does not function at all. Okay, thank you, Yasufhiya. I just need someone to read for me the last two types, please. The deletion and addition. Okay, Yalla, yeah, yeah, because we have just uh, four minutes left. Stays on the deletion TAC. Okay. ACC and ACG. Time. What is deleted here, yeah, Maryam? Can you detect it? On uh, AC, but it's لا, it is the A in the first, or in the uh, codon ACC, the A is removed. When you remove the A, now you have CCA. Right? No, Which A, Bas, you're talking about? Insert CCA. صح CCA but this A is from the third codon مش من second yes the second the A is deleted removed so yeah. that's why we have CCA okay CCA now then CGA طيب what is the type the one below it addition يا مريم this بيكون عنا T A C A C C و A C G بصير عنا T A C G A C ah, now you inserted a G yes but if you look at the amino acid sequence you see the whole sequence after it is changed صح yes يعني now the first one tyrosine yes. same now ما بفي جلوتامين برولين أرجينين up أسبيراجين هيستيدين down the whole sequence is changed. So what is the consequence here, Mariam? G? Yes, consequence for both, deletion and addition. The change of DNA leads to change in the whole reading frame. This causes a change in the corresponding A, A amino acid. Uh, and all amino acid after it. And all amino uh, acid after it. This we call it a frame shift. When you change now the whole sequence, you call it frame shift. Okay, guys? So please review this table very well. Okay, what is the type of a mutation mainly? What is the consequence and its name? Okay, not all of it. La. Review the type and the consequence. Okay? Mean in the middle? لا لا هم they give you this and you have to detect what type. Okay, they give you this and you should detect what type. Okay. Type. Please review it and I will see you inshallah tomorrow and we discuss about tomorrow session how we can let's say take it. Okay, do you prefer tomorrow we make it same time as today? Type. What about the others? 
طيب ايرلي يو يا مريم كان يو؟ عادي استاذ اذا بعد المدرسه انه على الوحده وثلاثه بس ميبي ذا اذرز ويل نوت هاف انف تايم تو ريتش ذير هاوس تو مورو وي سي ان شاء الله تو مورو 